Now for the next pattern of E Locrian, I'm going to start with my first finger on the seventh fret of the A string, and here's the scale pattern. This is also a three note per string scale pattern. On the A string, 7, 8, 10. D string, 7, 8, 10. G string, 7, 9, 10. B string, 8, 10, 11. High E string, 8, 10, 12. So here's what we've just done. And now we can come back down. We can continue to go lower on the low E string, 10, 8, 6, 8 to 10, ending on the root note E, 7th fret of the A string. Always want to start and end on the root. So here's the whole scale pattern once again. Now for our next solo in E Locrian, we're going to combine the patterns that we've gone over so far. So check out the solo with the backing track and then we'll come back and break it down. For this solo, I'm going to use some slides in order to connect the patterns. Starting off on the B string, the first phrase goes like this. So I'll hammer on 5 to 6 and then slide up to 10. Back down to 6, 5, and then I'm going to hammer on and pull off 5, 6 on the B string three times and then end on the 5th fret. The next phrase goes like this. Once again, using slides to get around the neck. Starting off three times on the fifth fret of the B string, six on the B, five to six, and then back to five on the high E. Now I'll slide from 10 down to five. Then once again, on the high E string, five, five, six, back to five. 10, slide back down to 5, strike 5 again now, and then 5, slide to 6, 8 on the B, 2 times, shift positions, from the 10th fret of the B string, bend up a half step and release. So here's the phrase we've just gone over. And now here's the next phrase. Starting off on the G string, hammer on 9 to 10. 
Skip to the high E string, eight to 10. Shift positions from the 12th fret of the high E string, bend up a half step, and then strike that two more times. Now release that bend and play 12 on the high E string three times, followed by 10 on the B. Strike 10 again, bend up a half step and release. Down to eight on the B string. To the G string, ninth fret, bend up a half step and release. Followed by 10 to seven on the D string. Here's that phrase once again, which starts on the end of three. One, two, three. The next part of this solo uses an E minor seven flat five arpeggio. Remember the chord that corresponds with the Locrian mode, the seventh chord of the F major scale is an E minor seven flat five chord. So that chord or that arpeggio will sound great when soloing with the E Locrian mode. So here's the lick. <laughs> Starting off on the seventh fret of the A string, I'll then play 10 on the A string, 8D down to 10A, 7G, 8D, 9, 7G, 8D, 7G, 8 on the D, 10 on the A, and repeat 8 on the D string, 10 on the A string. A lot of numbers, here's what we've just done. Now we're going to repeat 7 to 10 on the A, 8D, 10A, 7 on the G string, 8 on the D string, 9, 7 on the G, 8 on the D, 7 on the G. So here's the phrase once again. So that's an E minor seven flat five arpeggio that we've just played. And we're gonna go through that arpeggio in greater detail later. For now, let's move on. Here's the next part of the solo. I'm gonna bend up a half step from the 10th fret of the B string, release, pull off to the eighth fret. Now 10 on the B, eight on the high E, and then eight to 10 on the B. And now we're up to the second part of the backing track, and here's the next phrase. So here we'll hammer on seven to nine on the G string, and then back to seven. Repeat those three notes. Now from the seventh fret of the D string, bend up a half step, and then release that bend, striking seven without the bend. And again. So here's what we've just done. Now we're going to repeat. We'll hammer on from seven to nine on the G string, back to seven. Now hammer on seven to nine. Strike nine, bend up a half step, and then play nine to seven. Now repeat those three notes. Strike seven again, hammering onto nine. And the final phrase. Eight to 10 on the B string. Strike 10, bend up a half step, and then 10 to eight. Now switch to the high E string, bend up a whole step from the 10th fret, and then play 10 without the bend. So here's the entire second part of the solo. <laughs> 